Can a business have a mind, a subconscious, a knack for predicting the future? Reflexes faster than the speed of thought. Can a business have a spirit? Can a business have a soul? Can a business be alive? The great beauty of owning a property is that you can create wealth through capital appreciation. And this has been denied to many South Africans for generations. This is an opportunity to right that wrong. The idea was to bring capital into the affordable housing space in South Africa with a fund that offers families of modest income safe and good accommodation. The city got involved very early on and showed an enormous commitment and that gave other investors confidence. The city is really unique because they bring deep understanding of what's happening in Africa. I really believe we only live once and so you need to take an idea that you have and to go for it. You have the opportunity to say, I've been part of the creation of over 27,000 units of housing and to replicate this across the entire African continent. Find everything a gentleman needs at our Veterans Day sale. Get up to 70% off a huge selection of suits, sport coats, sweaters, and outerwear. Plus save 50% on all dress shirts, ties, and accessories. Only at Joseph A. Bank. There's a network that never stops improving, that's grown faster than any other, covering nearly every American. And these geese. But it's not who you think. Ah! It's T-Mobile. Our new extended range LTE signal reaches twice as far and is four times better in buildings. Think you know our LTE coverage? Think again. Once again. See for yourself at T-Mobile.com slash coverage. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Axis powers of America. You really think you're gonna defeat the Japanese, the Nazis? When my father told me what it was like before the war, he said every man was free. I want my country back. Maybe the world can change. a country which offers stability of investment legislation strong protection of investors rights still not good enough 30 percent cash back on your investment prosperity starts here invest in kazakhstan these hands are made to work so i can't waste time with stripped and rusted fasteners that's why i love the craftsman extreme grip line screwdrivers with diamond coated tips deliver four times more grip than standard ones and sockets that fit snug on rounded bolts for 14 times more gripping power to keep me moving. Craftsman hand tools are protected by a lifetime full warranty. This holiday, put Craftsman at the top of your wish list. Closed captioning brought to you by MeSoBook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. That's why we offer this free book. Call 1-800-400-5415. Caitlyn Jenner is one of Glamour Magazine's Women of the Year. In her speech, Jenner described her path towards transitioning to a woman and said maybe this is why God put her on Earth. Jenner is not the first transgender woman to win the award. Actress Laverne Cox was honored last year. Previous winners of this award include former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, tennis great Billie Jean King, and singer Lady Gaga. So it's not without some controversy that Caitlyn Jenner is now among that list of honorees. Joining me for both sides of this debate, Somia Krishnamurthy, a journalist with Oxygen.com, and Nicole Russell, contributor to the online magazine called The Federalist, which some have described as conservative leaning. Uh, Somia, I want to start with you. Apart from dealing with her own transgender issues, which many other people in the transgender community have dealt with in the past, and no one would ever say is easy, what has Caitlyn Jenner done for women, which puts her on that list, uh, which puts her up there with Madeleine Albright? Totally. Well, this list is really about women who are trailblazers and changing what it defines to be a woman. And Caitlyn Jenner has used her platform 
to showcase the plethora of different faces of young women and really taking this trans issue and normalized it. Before Caitlyn Jenner, we weren't talking about the trans community in such an open and honest way. So the work she's done has been very historic and is the reason why she deserves this award. So Nicole, over to you. Why, why do you think that just doesn't hold water uh, when it comes to Caitlyn Jenner? I think that Caitlyn Jenner should not have won this award because she's not a woman. Uh, the fact that Glamour dubbed her Woman of the Year or uh, among the many recipients suggests that men are better at being women than women are. And I think that it's insulting to um, women who were born biologically women who um, have done things that would have been more deserving of this award. Okay, so you're saying that because uh, Caitlyn Jenner was not born a woman and, uh, and is transgender, she, she shouldn't have been included. But you know, there, there is a definition out there, and it comes from uh, the, the, the Gynecologist Society, it comes from the Human Rights Commission, it comes from uh, yeah, uh, the psychotherapy uh, groups, and it's all general. It's ba basically this. Transgender is a broad term used for people whose gender identity or gender expression differs from their assigned sex at birth. So it's a psychiatric issue. It's not a physiological issue. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, uh, Jenner identifies as a woman, therefore she should be considered a woman. Absolutely. You know, I think when it comes to gender, what Caitlin has really shown is that gender is really what you feel on the inside. It's not about the biological parts you're born with or what society may deem you to be a woman. It's really about a feeling in your soul. She clearly felt so strongly her entire life that she chose to transition very publicly. So I think for us to state she's not a woman just because maybe she wasn't biologically born so, I think is a little bit antiquated and offensive. And Nicole, I mean, th that basically is the answer to your argument though, isn't it? If, 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 you ident if you identify as a woman, as Caitlyn Jenner does, therefore she's trailblazed, she's been out there, she's been very public, although some could say, you know, the publicity which has been around her trans transition has been for her own benefit, not necessarily for the transgender community. But doesn't that sort of put your argument in its place in a way? I don't think so. I don't think that feelings or identity trump biology. Uh, I might wake up one day and feel like I want to be a dolphin and swim in the ocean and feel the nice salty water. That doesn't make me a dolphin. And in this case, I don't think just because you wake up one day and feel something that does not trump your own biology and so therefore because Caitlyn Jenner still has the biological parts of a man, I don't think she should have been awarded this award. Well, transgender um, people have been honored by this award in the past, so I just want to ask Nicole this. So do you think no transgender people should ever be receiving this kind of awards ever? Not, not this particular Nicole. award, Woman of the Year. I'm not saying that they haven't done other things that are great. I just think for something like this, when Caitlyn Jenner still has male body parts. No, I don't think that um, you should have won that award. And, and so, Mia, there are a lot of people who, in fact, and a lot of feminists who agree with Nicole. Jermaine Greer, in particular, has been very outspoken about that, uh, agreeing with the position that Nicole has. So, at the end of the day, aren't there other women out there who have done more for women than Caitlyn Jenner over the past 12 months? You know, I think that argument could be made for any of the candidates across the board. I think, you know, to make the argument, if I wake up like a dolphin, I'll turn into one, sounds like, you know, someone who might need a crash course in biology. I think here, it, what really, what it's about is showcasing that gender is a fluid, it's, it's really a gamut, and this idea of kind of putting people into stereotypes, that's what this award is moving away from. I mean, we can easily state that a woman needs to only play with Barbies or a woman should be a housewife. Where does that end? I think it's a very slippery slope when we as women are looking at another woman and wagging our fingers like, I'll tell you what a true woman is. Okay, and we'll leave it there. Um, if nothing else, Glamour Magazine's got a lot of publicity for their award this time. Uh, so me, uh, uh, we appreciate you being with us. Also, Nicole, thank you for your point of view as well. Thank you to you both. Thank you. Thank you. And the debate does go on. You are watching CNN Newsroom live from Los Angeles. I'm John Bors. Please stay with us. Aisha Shasay will be joining me, we hope, after the break with a look at the day's top stories.